Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to some uh, C++ SDL video tutorial series stuff. Uh, I'm Root of the Null, I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Um, in, in this video, uh, well, anyway, to review the last video, we finally had our code create a, a, a simple window. And it didn't do much of anything other than just display for a few seconds and, and then immediately go away. But uh, you'll notice we had a, a 01 basic win.cpp file, and when we ran the code, we'd have a window show up. The thing is, we were only delaying its presence, or for how long it would actually exist and, and, and have the code be visible. And that is nice, but damn it, how are we going to have the window stay up for more time than that? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and recompile what I had here beforehand anyway, just so we have that line. Package config. Config. Come on. Come on, honey. Honey. What are you doing? Package config libs and c flags sdl2 and then i'll actually and that in bash with edit out so every time yeah we can just keep that command so we have our window show up but after five seconds it, it kind of goes away well how do we keep it there and this topic actually kind of gets to the idea of uh, a game or a program's kind of main event loop and the 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 system or the loop that continues over and over again so the window actually stays alive and we'll get into that, of course, by looking at the documentation. So in the last video, we were looking at display and window management. In this time, uh, we're going to go back to the API by category quick link. Uh, kind of skim through here, see what we've got. And you'll notice under input events, we've got event handling. And event handling is what we want to be getting into. It allows your application to receive input from the user, no matter any... any Anything that you do, anything that you do, if you if you move your mouse, if you, you, you press keys on your keyboard, if you, I don't know, I don't, I can't think of any better examples than that, it, it's just what you do. If you do this, it's, your, your program will receive events, and even closing a window or minimizing the window or, or driving, dragging the window around, that's an event. So closing the window is crucial. If we wanted to be able to close the program by closing the window, we need to be able to do that. So we have to process this in our code. It happens by storing all the events in a specific event queue. Using functions like SDL poll event, which is what we're going to be using, uh, SDL peep events and SDL wait events, we can get into more of those uh, as, we, as we continue or if you want to look at them. You can observe and handle waiting input events. Now, that itself, the event queue, is composed of a series of SDL event structures. SDL event types. SDL event structures are read from the QA with the SDL poll event function, and then it's up to the application to process the information stored with them or see what is really going to happen. So, with that description, let's check out what we're really doing here. We need SDL event and we need the SDL poll event, those functions and those, those, those variables. SDL poll event will take actually an SDL event pointer, and that's going to be the event that we use. It will return 1 if there's a pending event, or 0 if there are none available. And the way that that is set up is by, okay, while 1, or all the time, it's an infinite loop because 1 is always going to equal 1, 1 is always true, that's going to keep repeating over and over and over again, we're going to have our event, and while this SDL poll event is actually being processed from that function, you can handle the events and do what you want. You can do some other stuff there, and that sort of thing. Let's try this in our code. Let's actually keep the window alive. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to clean up this by just code folding some of the things that we've got here and kind of tightening our display in our code anyway. And um, looking at this example, I'm not going to declare the SDL event inside the initial while loop, or the main loop. I'm actually going to declare that out of there. SDL event event. I'm just going to call the variable event just to keep things easy. And we also need a, another variable, which is going to be a boolean. And I'm going to use the variable running, which is going to be equal true, which kind of is going to be a placeholder for this while one that they use in the documentation. While running, in this case, as in while the program is running, what we're going to do is we're going to pull the event. You can see in the example over there, it used while SDL poll event. And remember, this function takes a pointer over here. So we actually need to pass in the reference value for event. And the way we do that is the ampersand, the shift version of the function, uh, of, sorry, of the 7 key on your keyboard. And we pass in event. And then it, it processes that. 
Okay, cool. What we'll do is we'll say if the event once it has been once it has been uh, kind of pulled and, and processed, we can test if the event dot type is equal to something else. We actually get to determine what the kind of event it is. STL event is uh, has has lots of fascinating things. It's a union that contains structures for the different event types, and there are a lot of different types. There are window events, there are keyboard events, there are uh, mouse motion events, and 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 plenty of things here. Quit event is what we're going to want to be looking at, and let's actually take a look at that over here. A structure that contains the quit requested event. Now you can see the type is this flag or this constant here, SDL quit. It doesn't give any example or anything, but let's keep hunting. If we go back, window manager event, drop event, poll event, test event, okay. While we're pulling that event, just keep scrolling. Oh, we can even use user events. Those are cool to to know. We'll have to look at that later, or at least you can do that on your own. Plenty of cool stuff. Oh, okay, there you go. SDL quit. There's that flag for um, SDL quit event. That's the type that it is, and that's just simply quit. It doesn't give any example, but I'm sure we can kind of figure out how to do it. We're just testing if the event dot type. I'm disappointing it doesn't it doesn't show that that variable okay no it does type right here that variable type this table below okay right here and again this links this right back over here all right I'm, I'm moving around in circles and, and avoiding the the real thing here we just want to use SDL uh, anyway, in the SDL library, event dot type. If the SDL dot event dot type is equal to SDL underscore quit, what we will do is, in our case, we'll set running to equal false. I keep thinking I'm in Python. Sorry, I keep capitalizing my true and false value, true and false values, and uh, we'll just break out of this loop so we don't have to keep doing that again. Cool. So, nothing is really going to happen in this while loop, but right here, this is where all the event actually event testing actually happens. Um, let's go ahead and see how this compiles, or even if it does. Head over to the terminal. Uh, right now, damn it, this is still basic window.cpp. I should save this as a different thing. 02 underscore main loop.cpp. I really need to get in the habit of that. Hop back over to our terminal here. And um, I'm going to rename this to 02 mainloop.cpp. We can run this code, and my window appears. It compiles and it's ran just fine. And the window will never disappear. Until, of course, I hit this close button right up here. If I close this, sweet. The program ends. That works just fine for us. That works exactly how we wanted it to. We have the main loop in our, in our, in our code. And it, the way that's happening is through the SDL event type. SDL poll event function and testing the event type in the uh, loop that we have here in the main loop. Super duper cool! That's how it all works. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this, and be sure to check out the documentation and know what other things that you can do with this. It's it's awesome and crucial, and it's it's very exciting to see the world at your fingertips. Thank you again, guys, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.